Hey guys, so today I am vlogging. It is Friday, the 16th of June, and I am vlogging because I decided I want to do my own little readathon because I'm a freaking nerd. Um, I keep seeing these readathons, and they're not coming quick enough for me to actually like try to participate in them. There's the Dewey 24 hour one, I think that might be next month, July. And I am going to participate in that and I might vlog it as well. But I wanted to do my own little readathon um, just because I'm impatient and I have a lot of books that I want to read. Like this whole thing? Books I want to read. So I have five books in front of me. They're kind of huge. Um, one of them I am currently reading and the rest are new or I haven't read them yet. I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys which books I'm thinking of reading for the weekend. I'm going to be reading from today starting at 6, no, we'll do starting at 10, yeah. Today, June 16th, starting at 10 p.m., all the way through Sunday the 18th at, let's just do 10 p.m. again, so two days, two days of reading. So, and I have nothing else planned this weekend, so that's nice. We have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. It's just one of those books that I've seen the movie three times now, and I haven't read the book yet, so I'm, I want to read the book. Next is another, is a big book. The Darkest Minds by Alexander Br Bracken. It's a big book. I'm going to read that. Trapped by Michael Northrop. This is one of them that I showed in my June TBR. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, another big book. And lastly, the one I am currently reading, which is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Evertali. This is a good book so far. I will get back to you guys when I start reading. I read a little bit more of The Upside of Unrequited, so I'm on page 67. And I'm really, really liking it. It's really funny. Um, but, yeah, my life isn't interesting, and I don't know why I continue to vlog things. But, currently I'm having issues with my shoulder. So it is 12.40-ish, and I just finished the episode of Unrequited, and I now know what a book hangover feels like. This just gave me a book hangover. I loved it. Like, I was on page 67 when I went to bed, or when I went to read it, and I finished it in one sitting. That's my life. Hey guys, so it is Saturday morning, it is like 10 o'clock. I woke up like 30 minutes ago, I just had breakfast, but I wanted to update you guys. Um, I finished right there. Right, right there. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Avertali, and now I am starting on Trapped by Michael Northrup. I'm starting this one because it's one of the shorter books in my stack, so we're gonna read this. So far I'm liking it, but I'm also remembering that this was made in 2011, and I think I read it when it was new, and that would be like a year in middle school, so I'm trying to see if I can make this work for me. I'm going to sit in my bed and read this. I'm probably going to read until like noon and then get the things that I need to get done, done. So I went to the post office to drop off a package. And then I was like, mm, I'm going to go inside my local bookstore and look for some books. I bought two more books. But they're books that I've wanted to read. So, I mean, I got And I Darken by Kirsten White. This one apparently is like a Vladimir the Impaler retelling, but like a female character, so I'm really excited to read that. I have a lot of black spine books, I'm just now realizing, because this one is also kind of black spined. This is The Last Star by Nick Yancey. I have Rick Yancey, not Nick Yancey, Rick Nance. Rick Yancey. I have The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea, but I don't have the final book, so... One of these days I'm going to just binge read that entire series and I'm really excited about it. And then I bought a bookmark. It says I like big books and I cannot lie. 
Okay, now I'm settled back in my bed and I'm going to read a little bit more. I'm currently reading Trapped. Like I said, I'm, how many pages am I? I'm 59 pages in, but I'm nine chapters in. I feel like this book feels like it's a really long book, but it's like, not? How many pages are there? 232, so we're making some progress on this book because I'm liking it, but it's very much middle grade. Actually, I don't know what it's described as on Goodreads, but I feel like it's very middle grade. So I was wrong, it's not middle grade. It's actually a YA thriller, but it's made for ages 12 and up. So that's probably where I'm getting middle grade because it is a young read. But I'm really liking it. I mean, this is definitely something, I'm gonna finish it, but I have, I don't think I've ever finished this actually. I don't remember what it, the ending is like. So I wasn't gonna vlog again until I had finished this book. However, I just got to a part in the book. It's not even the part in the book that disturbs me right now. A library slip falls out of it with my name on it. I told you guys I read this book before, but I thought I was in like middle school in a different state. Apparently it was 2014 and it was still in my book. Hey guys, so it is 7.08. Um, I wanted to update y'all on my process and I'm probably not going to update anymore tonight because I've just been feeling really under the weather. My nose has been bothering me. <laughs> I ate some dairy, so my stomach isn't agreeing with me right now. I don't know. At some point, I'm going to get bored with the YouTube videos, so once that happens, I can read some more, and then once I get bored with reading, I can go back to YouTube videos. I don't have anything planned tomorrow other than filming because I didn't do it today, so I have, excuse me, plenty of time to read and plenty of time to get things done. So, not worried yet. I'm not. Good morning, guys. It is 11.38 a.m. Here it is. And I woke up about an hour ago. It's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day. And I finished Trapped last night, which was pretty good. I mean, it was okay. It kind of sped up at the end, but I felt like there wasn't enough information. So, pretty good. But now I am just going to work on some youtube -y stuff. Um, and Goodreads and things like that. But the next book I'm going to pick up is The Darkest Minds by Alexandria Bracken. This is a bigger book, but I will get through all of these books.
So I was getting ready to go, I was getting ready to film, and my battery died on my camera. So I have to, I have to charge it. So I guess I have to do non-filming things for like an hour. Because I was in the mood to finally film, and it died. So I have to charge this. I could clean my room in the process because I do have to film a video for later in the week that requires my room. Okay, I am back. I drive stick shift, so I actually have to use both hands when I drive. But I am heading to Starbucks. I have my book with me, The Darkest Minds by Alexandria Bracken. Alexandra? Alexandra Bracken. And it's, it's one of those things. I'm kind of bored, but I'm also like really antsy. So I needed to get out of the house for a little bit and my camera battery still isn't charged. So I may as well. I haven't had any coffee today, which I mean, it's four o'clock. So that, that's pretty good for me. I'm like trying to hide the camera because I feel like people are staring at me, but that is all right. I, yeah, I have to uh, do a lot of filming today. So I shouldn't be going to Starbucks. But I also have a readathon currently going, aka what this vlog is about. So, reading is not a bad thing. Okay, so now I can talk a little more um, freely, I guess, because I'm not driving. But I'm at Starbucks. I have my book, Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. And I'm gonna go inside and get coffee. The only issue I have is I don't know what kind of coffee I want. So we're gonna find out. So I am now back at home. As you can tell by the fact that I am wrapped up in a blanket. I am sitting in front of my desk. I need to update my Goodreads because I read quite, not quite a bit. I read like 30 pages of The Darkest Minds and it's pretty interesting so far. I wasn't expecting the way it's going, but I really like it. Um. My camera battery is charged. Yeah, charged. I was like, that didn't sound right. My camera battery is charged all the way. So I am going to update my Goodreads and then I have to film a few videos before and after dinner. Hey guys, so the readathon is almost done. Um, there's like seven minutes left, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I just wanted to update you guys with what I read and tell you I guess wrap up my progress? I guess, I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> First book I read was The Upside of Unrequited. I gave this five out of five stars. I loved this. Next was Trapped by Michael Northrap. I gave this three out of five stars. Not as impressed. And I am currently reading The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I am 52 pages into the book and it really good so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little readathon. If you guys want me to record any other readathons, go ahead and comment that down below. If you like this video, go ahead and press that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!